Okay, so this week we've seen the European Medicines Agency make a couple of announcements about uh, COVID or uh, potential COVID-19 vaccines, um, starting a process of what the EMA described as a rolling review. So, Cindy, I just, just wanted to ask, what, what is that rolling review process? Um, a rolling review is one of the regulatory tools that the European Medicines Agency, EMA, uses to speed up the assessment of a promising medicine or a vaccine during a public health emergency uh, such as COVID-19. Normally, all the data on a medicine's effectiveness, uh, safety and quality is first collected over many years and then all required documents are submitted at once at the start of the evaluation in a formal application um, to gain approval. In case of the rolling review, EMA reviews data as they become available from ongoing studies and before a formal application is submitted by the medicine or vaccine developer. And once EMA decides that sufficient data are available, the formal application should be submitted by the company. By reviewing the data as they become available, the EMA can reach its opinion sooner on whether or not a medicine or vaccine can be approved for the use of patients or citizens. Uh, okay, so, so if the idea is to compress the, the timeline and see if we can get to the stage where a COVID-19 vaccine is a, uh, approved quicker, Anna, was, is compressing the timelines, does, does that, compromise the safety of uh, any potential vaccines coming through? The reduction in time by the rolling review has no impact on the safety, as Medicines European Agency will complete its scientific assessment according to usual standards for the quality, safety and effectiveness. It is difficult to predict how long take the whole process, but the process should be shortened at a regular evaluation due to the time gained during this rolling review. I would like to add that large scale clinical trials involving several thousand of people are ongoing for COVID-19 vaccines and results will be available over the coming weeks and months. These results will provide information on how effective the vaccine is protecting against COVID-19 and will be assessed when the data are available by EMA. All available data on the safety on the vaccines as well as on the quality such ingredients, production methods will be also reviewed. The rolling review will continue until enough evidence is available to support a formal decision on the approval. Uh, okay, and uh, so Sydney, coming back to you, obviously this rolling review process, perhaps driven by the, you know, everyone's need and desire to get a, an effective and you know safe and effective vaccine for for COVID nineteen. But you know, what what can we learn from this rolling review process in the for the future for the assessment of of medicines and vaccines? Well, based on the learnings from the current experiences of this rolling review, EMA can and perhaps even should redesign a more flexible integrated product evaluation mechanism for all products, not just those for emergency use, which would include a step-by-step -step process uh, for seeking early and continuous dialogue on data as they are generated on medicines, efficacy, safety and quality. Um, we call it a dynamic regulatory assessment. And if we were to move um, forward with this greater certainty about the future acceptability of dynamic assessments like a rolling review, we can really increase uh, speed of a drug and vaccine development and allow any new products to reach the patients without a delay. Great, thank, thank you both for your, uh, for your insights and um, you know, I know everyone is following closely the, the development uh, of COVID-19 vaccines, and I'm sure we'll be back to ask you more questions in the future. Thank you. Thank you.